about financial inclusion. It is a simple service which gives the ability to bring the banking account to the mobile. So that is effectively what we are doing in very simple words. Uh, behind it we have naturally a full core banking platform but all we are doing is we are converting the mobile into a bank account and all financial services can then be remotely accessed. Now what are the services we are talking about? And if you see why, why it becomes critical, I'll talk about it in the Indian context because there's a limitation to the banking infrastructure and a last mile reach which is where the challenge comes. So any payments if we have to do them, India today is a dominant cash economy 95% of the transactions happen in cash. So how do you digitize that and how do you manage cash at the last mile is what we are really trying to drive. Uh, M-Pesa today as, as we speak about it, it's an RBI approved uh, prepaid wallet that we issue. So it's an authorized service under the Reserve Bank of India, works under a license from them. Uh, so if you notice over here in our market today, the challenge remains that very few people have documentation. Uh, to be able to open a bank account. Either it's the quality of the documentation or even a lack of it. Uh, so I'd be introduce a prepaid wallet where they said with minimal customer declaration of their own information, they can actually open a prepaid wallet. Uh, the prepaid wallet gave the person a lot of capabilities. This is a wallet which you open on your mobile. And it gives you the ability to transfer money to any other wallet. So wallet to wallet transfer, a person to person transfer. It gives you the ability to transfer money into a bank account. So technically all our mobiles are today interoperable with bank accounts. You can likewise pay for goods and services which is merchant payments, payments for utilities, gas, bills and so on and so forth. Now what it doesn't give because since it is a product which is with a minimum KYC as we say it, you need banking documentation to be able to take cash out of the wallet. So if you are looking at an end-to-end -end remittance model, which means I am looking at people who let's say have moved into urban areas and want to send money back home, they want to have the provision to be able to take out money when they transfer the money from one mobile to the other. And that is what is offered when we tie up with a bank and we offer a product where we take the banking documentation of the individual and the product gets the capability to cash out. So we created a unique model in the market, we tied up with a bank, ICICI Bank, which is again a dominant uh, private sector player and along with them we are today offering a proposition where a person can actually walk into an M-Pesa outlet, you will see lots of them in AP, uh, we have lots of them on a pan India basis and I will talk about some of the numbers. A person can walk into an M-Pesa outlet, it's like a bank branch, it is sponsored by ICICI as a business correspondent outlet. Uh, you go there, you register for M-Pesa services, your mobile actually becomes a banking provider to you. You can give cash to the agent and you can load money into your M-Pesa wallet. Uh, once you've loaded money into the wallet, you have the ability to do all of these services in terms of transferring them and you can likewise transfer it to another person and from there that person can again at an M-Pesa outlet withdraw the cash. So this is the simple proposition we are talking about. Uh, we've gone ahead and done other things also because one is a person who's holding cash, you are digitizing his money. Likewise, there are a lot of people in this room who would be doing banking. So if you want to load your wallet from a bank account, from a debit card or a credit card, that provision also is open. So you can basically load money into the wallet and then use the mobile to basically move the money from point to point. So this is the proposition today we are offering on the ground. Uh, when it is a fully KYC product, technically you also have the ability to get a savings bank interest rate on the money which you have kept into the wallet in a digital format. So what, when we talk about financial inclusion, so what are we looking at? There is a need to safely keep your money somewhere. Now, a lot of times when people move into urban locations seeking livelihood, seeking work, they are living in accommodations which are shared. Uh, they are people who have daily, month, weekly wages. So they do carry a lot of cash with them before they send part of the money back home. Where do they keep the money safely? So cash around with you, put the money into your mobile. Second thing clearly is the requirement to remit money. So sending it back home, what are the challenges? We all know that. Because bank branches in the villages are very few. So your ability to send the money to a mobile in the village, and if you have an M-Pesa outlet right there in the village itself, you can do take cash out over there. And very important, again, there is a requirement to pay for utilities, to pay for electricity, water, basic services. And that again, we can enable using a wallet. So these are, these are the pillars on which we talk about financial inclusion. Naturally, if you see the pillars as defined by the Reserve Bank of India, it is remittance again, it is savings, it is credit. 
Again, when you are distributing credit, micro credit, if you can get into the wallet, it's the simplest thing possible you can do. Micro insurance and micro pension.